my goodness, it's 10 to 9. I just woke up. I start working in 10 minutes and Keith is already taking us to go dump. Oh, I can't take this. Uh, oh, what a way to wake up. Oh, well, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Looks like a beautiful day today. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yep. So, wow. I'll see you guys later. They're out mowing. All the lots around us. You can hear them. <laughs> I have the house all opened up. Fan on. It's such a gorgeous day. Air is flowing through. And the bug bones ringing. See you later. Okay, I'm back. Centipedes. Ugh. I listen to these bug calls during the day. It makes me all itchy. <laughs> Especially because we get so many bed bug calls. Yeah, the lady had a centipede crawl up across her face in bed one night. Okay, that's just I, that just ruined my appetite. Although I did just have a, some cottage cheese. Anyway, as I was saying, it is gorgeous, beautiful, amazing day outside right now. I have opened all the windows, turned on the ceiling fans, the fantastic fans. That's on low right now. If I turn it on high, it's like a wind tunnel in here. Everything, the dogs get sucked up and they're stuck to the fan up there. And it's bad news. Anyway, I love to watch him mow because it's, he obviously gets such a big kick out of it. He's one of the camp hosts. And he obviously gets such a big kick out of it, whipping himself around there. It's like he's on a carnival ride. Okay, I gotta get this. See you later. Bye. We're in the little town of Plainwell, Michigan. It's really cute. This is the four corners of town. Trucks blocking much of it, but it's a really cute little town. We just had dinner at Burger King, and we said we'd never eat again at Burger King after Casey stopped working there. <laughs> Casey worked at Burger King for several years, from the time she was 16 until she moved away to Midland. Anyway, we are, um, the people in the metal detecting club that we're going to rejoin tonight apparently eat there before the meeting, but we got here too late, obviously, because I had to, I had to, um, work till 5 and they meet at 5.30 and we got here around 6 so they were just leaving because they're going over to the meeting spot and setting up. We will be at the meeting spot momentarily. I don't know if I will be able to record any of the meeting or not. This is a great group of people. I'm not a metal detector -ist, but um, they're always real nice and real friendly and everything so and when we lived in Lansing, we used to come here every month for their for their meetings, but it was too far once we moved up north in 2006. So it's been a while since we've been to a meeting. Nine years. So we will. I will see you guys later. If I get a chance to record, I will. And if not, well, you'll just see me when we get home. Okay, bye guys. It's still about 6.30. They don't start till 7.00. They have tables with people's finds, and they have a uh, raffle, not raffle, what's that, drawings for prizes, and they have all kinds of things at these meetings. I wouldn't know if anybody looks familiar to me still because it was nine years ago. That was before my stroke. I don't remember much of anything. Anyway, yeah, it's only 6.30. This might get be all I get, but we'll see. America, to the Republic. For which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Guys, we are home. It's about almost 10 o'clock. And, um, yeah, as the night went on at the meeting, I remembered more and more people. But strange is that they've all aged so much in <laughs> nine years. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, let's see. The meetings are uh, are good. I remember, you know, when we used to go, of course, Casey would go with us. They had, they have kids stuff to do there too. Um, but anyway, they they um, 
we have our business meeting, old business, new business, treasures report, all that stuff. Then they have voting and different categories of people's fines for the month. They can enter certain fines, and there's like different categories, coins or jewelry or um, stuff like that. And um, I think there's four categories. And then everybody votes on each, on their favorite for each category. And then, you know, they have a winner. And that takes up a large part of the meeting. And then they break for... A break obviously tonight they had pizza there so um, Pete and I had already eaten so uh, but they had pizza there I did eat one piece but I wish I wouldn't have now because I was already still full from dinner but pizza is one of those things I can't say no to um, then the last half of the meeting is uh, people tell about their finds for the months, like if they had a special story, like one guy found a ring that a guy had lost many years earlier on an old, at an old farm and stuff like that. They tell their if they have special stories. Um, and then after that, they have their 2020 drawings and they have their raffles and they have like tons of different drawings. They have door prize drawings, um, just drawing after drawing after drawing, and then and then that is the rest of the meeting. Because and fishbowl drawing, I don't know what that's about. I don't. They didn't used to have that, so I don't know what it is. Um, but they have all these different drawings. So then they're done. Then everybody stands around, talks for a while, puts their chairs away, folds up. Somebody vacuums. Somebody, you know, because it's at the community center. So they got to clean up, make it look like we weren't even there. Um, and they have just the display tables, you know, where people display their uh, finds and stuff too. But it's about two hours long, and it's pretty interesting meeting now. It, the, they have metal metal folding chairs, and it was murder on my back for two hours. I will be buying when we get home. I know how much I need it now. I'm going to be buying a one of those, they call them a rollator, a rolling walker with a seat that you can sit in. And I will be, I'm moving because Pete's walking in the whole, we, the, we don't have stabilizers on this. So when somebody walks through, the whole thing shakes. I was putting my eyeliner on earlier when he walked in the door. And I went, <laughs> anyway, whatever. Um, but anyway, it's got a padded seat. You, you can push it, you know, for a walker, like I have to use, uh, Sometimes, and then you can also, uh, it also has a seat. So I'm going to be buying one of those. They're quite reasonable, actually. But when I'm at home at some point, when I can get Amazon orders, um, I'll order one. And then I'll be able to use that next time because it, the seat killed, it just killed me, killed my back. But it was a good meeting, and it brought back a lot of memories when Pete and Casey and I used to go, and Casey was obviously much younger, and used to be a fun family time. Tomorrow the furnace guy comes. Well, he's an RV repair guy, but he does furnaces and air conditioning. He does all the systems. So he comes tomorrow. I don't know what time, but I'm going to be here all day anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'll be here answering bug calls. And I just uh, made myself a cup of tea so I can drink that while I edit today's vlog. I don't think I ever uploaded yesterday's vlog yet. I don't know. I'm going to have to check. I'm getting all confused. Today's the 15th. Did I do yet? I don't know. I'll have to check when I turn my computer on. Um, so that's it for today. For this wonderful Tuesday and tomorrow. Someday already. So... I'll be more than halfway through the week by the end of the day tomorrow, by this time tomorrow. So I hope you guys are having a good week. I'm glad that the bug calls are not quite as uh, chaotic, and I am able to watch some vlogs during the day again. I really appreciate that, and because uh, I've missed you guys. I knew I missed you guys. I didn't realize how much I missed you guys until I started watching vlogs again. It's like, oh my gosh, I miss so much. Anyway, I'm a sap. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. Take care, God bless, and good night.